John 14, 1-3 Think positively. In my Father's house there are many addresses. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I will prepare you a place. And when I go and prepare you a place, I will come again, and will bring you to myself, that where I am you may be. John 14, 1-3 Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the Word of God. Together with you, in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Human feelings are responsible for human performance. In both the positive and negative areas. And what causes these feelings is information that reaches our brain. Many people prefer to give their brain a choice for future insecurities. They give importance to facts that are only conjecture, or we can even say bad predictions. They always think the worst will happen. So they end up using their mental capacity to analyze what can happen wrong. And, with that, they get upset and suffer before the time comes, and they could be spending their mental time with positive conjectures, just thinking about what is going to happen. And positive feelings take over our mind and we receive the benefits of future goods, but preferring the negative side, we also begin to suffer from negativity and consequently the ills that have not yet come. In today's study, Holy Spirit is teaching us to think positively. The Holy Spirit is using here the words of the Lord Jesus in the Gospel of John in chapter 4, verse 1 to 3, where Jesus is passing positive, wonderful future projections. And he begins by saying, don't turn your heart. He means that we should not be distressed. Ahead of time. We have to leave our heart in a positive state, waiting for good things. Because, believe in God, believe also in me. He means that we believe, we put our trust, and, he states that we must trust in God. And also in Jesus Christ, and he is asking us to trust in him, and in his Father. In verse 2, he gives confidence for what he promises already exists. When he says this, in my father's house, there are many addresses. So that which I said to you, I will prepare the place for you, because it's already prepared. I will go back again, and I will take you to be together with me, because where I'm, I will take you to be with me. Dear brothers in Christ, we want to stick to this message of Jesus Christ, and take it as an example for us. He asks us to take away all the anguish, all the doubts within us. But we must believe in the great future that lies ahead. But he asks that we should believe in this future, which first becomes the present, that we already have a right in these abodes, from heaven. For Christ is dead, and has already given us the salvation of grace. And the word of God tells us that we are saved from grace, because it is a gift of God. It is not by our merits but it is by the merits of the Son of God, that he gave his life, to give us eternal life, eternal addresses. Therefore, dear brethren, we have freedom for Christ's love do not have anguish in our hearts, but we are sure that we are already living for eternity, it is a matter of time, and we will leave this world, and we will live in the heavenly abodes. That is why we are calling you to accept the Lord Jesus, and believe in God, and have the Holy Spirit within us. We make our body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we're already living eternal glory. Amen, and glory to God.